So to start this look off, I've already applied MAC Studio Fix Foundation in NW40. And then I took MAC's Pro Long Wear Concealer in NW40 and applied that under my eyes. I took a beauty blender and blended the concealer out. And then I grabbed my Ben Nye Banana Powder and put that under my eyes. I like to let my um, banana powder bake on my face when I do my concealer because it just gives it a richer tone. Then I took my Bobbi Brown Espresso Foundation Stick and used that to contour my cheeks, my chin, my forehead, and my nose. I don't typically do my chin on every occasion, but I had a little extra time so I decided to contour it up. After I apply my contour, I just basically blend everything out. I really like using the Beauty Blender because it just blends everything really smoothly and evenly and you don't have any streaks, so I would definitely recommend it. So after blending most of my contour out, I took a foundation brush and brushed the rest of my Ben Nye powder from underneath my eyes. It really just helps set the powder and give my eyes a nice uplifted look. Then I took MAC's Studio Fix Powder in NW45 and blended my face out. Um, just any streaks I see or any um, concealer that hasn't been blended out, I just use this to make it all smooth and finished like. And then after that, I take Black Radiance's Rich Mahogany Finishing Powder and go over my contour again. Um, after putting the MAC Studio Fix over my face, it kind of blended some of it out. So it just goes over those lines again and gives it a more defined look. I then take MAC Skin Finish and Gold Deposit and put that on the top of my cheeks um, and the bridge of my nose. It really is my favorite bronzer. I always use it in all of my videos. I really need to switch it up but it's just beautiful and it goes really well with my skin tone. So then I take a concealer brush and take some of that gold deposit and put it down my nose to get a more um, even line and on my cupid's bow above my lips. I then took a Milani blush. Um, the back of it was rubbed off so I can't remember what color this was but it was kind of like a rose gold and I just brushed that on the apples of my cheeks and kind of bring it up. Um, into my gold deposit. I then took a black gel liner. You can use any one. Just get, make sure it's really dark and really easily uh, blendable. Um, and I did a dramatic cat eye. When you're wearing something like black lipstick, at least for me, I really don't like to do much on my eyes, like you know, eyeshadow or smoky eye. It can just be a little bit overwhelming. So I'd rather just do a really thick cat eye. And um, this is usually how I do it. Cat eyes can be extremely hard. So just take your time. You're in no rush. Just make sure you try to get it as straight as possible. Clean up what you can. Um, I usually take a concealer brush and go underneath the cat eye to make it nice and even. After I finished cleaning up my cat eye, I took a Benefit Their Real Mascara in black and just uh, put some mascara on my eyelashes. I like to put mascara on before I put eyelashes on just so the eyelashes can blend evenly. I'm one of those girls who have had the hardest time putting on eyelashes. Um, I still can't use tweezers, I have to use my hands, but you know what? If you're, if you're not a professional, do what works for you, girl. After everything looks good and blended together, I take an eyelash curler and curl my lashes into the fake eyelashes. Um, it really helps make it blend even more. You want to make it look as realistic as possible because no one wants that, you know, eyelash hanging off and your eyelashes sticking out. It just <laughs> doesn't look good. So then I took a NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk and lined my waterline. It really gives your eye a nice bright look as well. And then I took Clinique's Bottom Lash Mascara. Um, the mascara wand is really small, so if you really get in there to get your eyelashes um, more noticeable. I don't have a lot of bottom lashes, but it works pretty well. And as for my lips, I used Kat Von D's Liquid Lipstick in Witches Pitch Black. Um, I'm really liking this lipstick so far. It's about $20 at Sephora. 
I do find that it can transfer and it's one of those lipsticks if you don't have it on you and it starts rubbing off, it can just look a mess. So if you're looking for a nice cheap liquid lipstick, I would definitely, you know, go for it. It's very pigmented, but it does tend to wear off. So after I apply the lipstick, I take a concealer brush um, and take some concealer and go around my lips. It really just cleans up the whole area, especially when you're using a color as dark as black. And then I took NYX's Matte Finishing Spray and sprayed my whole face. It sets all of your makeup and it stays on all day. So this is the finished look guys. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to thumbs up and subscribe.